this uh, exhibition came about uh, after I had uh, met a photographer, a Swedish photographer, Magnus Westerborn, and he showed me these uh, masks of uh, people who needed some sort of radiation treatment for some type of head, uh, head and or neck um, cancer. What Magnus has done is he has taken what is an extraordinarily um, utilitarian object that is uh, used in medical treatment and he has uh, transformed it into something very, very different. Um, he's done this by photographing these objects as if they were sculpture and you get that kind of sculptural quality when you look at them. So there's a certain sort of formal beauty to them. But they're also, I think, deeply moving because when you realize what they're used for, um, you realize that um, these masks really represent hope to the people who are being treated for this cancer. These works tend to be very evocative. They, uh, they, you know, they evoke a response, they hit an emotional chord uh, in a way that uh, my simply saying um, this mask gets placed over your face if, you know, and you get bolted down to this treatment table and the radiation technician pinpoints your, um, your tumor and you know, gives you your treatment. That doesn't seem to evoke the same kind of um, discussion that um, uh, you know, really skillfully done photo photographs by really terrific photographers can do. Uh, one of the things that I've been surprised about is the number of people that this really seems to um, affect. And we, you know, we are hoping that what it does is it begins to provoke a dialogue um, about cancer and cancer treatment, which is uh, cancer is certainly something that affects an enormous number of people. Um, yet it's also something that um, typically we don't talk a whole lot about.